Why not? I had all day with nothing to do but drive back to Boise. It couldn't hurt to check out my aunt's town a little bit first. At the moment, Honeysuckle Springs was technically mine, too, since I owned the property inside the city limits. I'd have a cookie in my aunt's honor. Maybe even two. One for her and one for me. With my decision made, I signaled to turn right, even though there were no cars close by. I slid into a parking spot around the corner and hoofed my way past an art gallery with pots of yellow pansies, smiling at me with their happy faces, walking back toward the cookie corner. The scent of freshly baked goods met me again, and I was happy to know that I hadn't imagined the delightful enticing smell. There were probably similar bakeries in Boise, but none that I'd come across in my daily travels. From the corner of my eye, I caught sight of a fast-moving mass coming from a narrow driveway between buildings that I hadn't noticed. I jerked my gaze in that direction, but not fast enough to avoid colliding with a woman carrying stacked pink boxes. We hit hard, crushing the pink boxes between us and knocking the wind out of me. I fell backwards, landing on my butt with a grunt as boxes and bits of cookies rained down around us. Silence followed, and I cautiously glanced at my assailant. The woman, a few years younger than me, somewhere in her early twenties, pushed her long blonde hair out of her eyes and stared at me, white-faced and shocked. She didn't blink or glance at the mess we'd made on the sidewalk, but instead struggled to catch her breath. I couldn't imagine our collision had stunned her so significantly, but it appeared it had. I pulled a chunk of oatmeal cookie from my hair, tempted to eat it, but didn't. Oh my gosh, are you okay? My question seemed to bring her out of her dazed state, and she shook her head. A fearful look tightened her expression as she turned toward the alley. There's a dead person back there.